Hey, this is Laura Cox, and I'm going to tell you a bit more about my upcoming album, Head Above Water. We are the ones who know what everybody's afraid to see. We're just one big mess. With everything that happened the past years, the um, situation with the pandemic, the lockdowns, I think I felt the need to distance myself a bit from um, the music in general. And that's weird because that's the first time this happened to me. Um, and from the guitar as well, in order to come back with a, a fresh mind and um, more inspiration. So that's what I did and it worked. I spent uh, a lot of time um, surrounded by nature uh, near the ocean in Portugal um, and there of course if I had some ideas I had my phone recorded some memos I also brought my um, little recording setup and once uh, I got back to France I gathered with the band to uh, rearrange everything in the studio um, everybody incorporated their stuff and uh, yeah this way it was really different from the writing process uh, we had on the previous albums but this went uh, really uh, fast and, uh, and smooth for the first time i think i was more inspired by uh, the people i've met and the places i've been these past years rather than by the music in itself i also opened my mind uh, more to other genres of music and that gave me a bit more freedom in the writing process and I decided to call this album Head Above Water because first I liked the water theme, I think it was relevant and also because I think overall this is a, a strong and positive message this is the opening song of the album and basically it's saying that of course in, in life you're gonna have to face good times and bad times that's what life is about uh, but these moments come in waves and you just have to hold on, um, keep your head above water and then everything will be okay. I love ICP Studios in Brussels. We recorded there again and it really feels like home for me. I know the place, I know the gear, I know the engineer. I know how it's going to be like and for me this is really um, a safe space, you know, to record and you know where you're heading. What was also really different this time is that the songs were really fresh in our minds. We just spent uh, a couple weeks rehearsing um, them before, uh, but we didn't spend years uh, playing them live, you know, on the road as uh, we did for the previous albums. And I think it's a good thing in the end because we came less prepared, but it was more natural and it was uh, more spontaneous. So I think for rock music, it's a good thing not to spend hours and weeks rearranging the songs. Um, usually the first uh, ideas are the, the best ones. For Head Above Water, I also had a different uh, singing approach. Uh, because I kind of got tired of yelling <laughs> and I, of course I want the album to sound rock but I think it can be rock and I can find a way not to yell all the time without pushing too much because I know I finally realized I would never be Brian Johnson so um, I had to find a different way of sounding rock sometimes it's uh, playing with the intensity sometimes it's uh, playing with the rhythm how to pronounce words, how to layer backing vocals. I really had fun thinking about this and I think I finally found um, how to do this, how to find my voice and uh, it was really fun and exciting. Mm -hmm. 